Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today we're going to talk about the slow motion effect and how to extend it. How to extend the size of the clip when you're using the effect. If you ever use the effect, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Something kind of difficult to do. And this video is part of kind of a three part series that I've created over time, where there's a video where I explain the three main ways to do slow motion, which include velocity the slow motion effect and just plain stretching the clip and then I have another video where we talk about natural slow motion like how you get 60 frames per second to display back at 30 frames a second and so there's one video I haven't covered this is a 30 frames per second video and and I kept it's kinda of eating away at me because in the original tutorial I kinda of have a janky way of using the slow motion effect to to get to the proper length and so I wanted to show you something pretty simple and pretty cool. When you use the slow motion effect at half playback speed, you're going to notice something. It will create slow motion here. Now again, I'm going to have to go to draft auto here so that way I can see better the slow motion. It will create a slow motion and again there's even some artifacting uh, because of the kind of shirt I'm wearing it's kind of difficult on the optical flow effect and the more flow effect I've already done some testing on that but this clip is, does a great job of demonstrating the problem here I now don't really finish spitting out my coffee before the clip is done it's only I have it at 50 uh, 50 percent playback rate that means I'm only seeing half the clip that I used to have so I'm only seeing it should be like roughly two seconds but it's only one second so I still only have it one second of footage despite the fact that it should naturally lengthen to two seconds of footage now I can imagine a thousand reasons why Vegas didn't want to go ahead and make this automatically lengthen and shorten as you adjust this but for whatever reason they did make sure you have the clip and the track highlighted go to tools and go to extensions and click adjust length of slow motion plugin and this will automatically it'll leave your audio in the dust and that's okay audio is a different bear and that's a topic for a different tutorial it'll automatically give you the full length you're supposed to have which in this case is almost two seconds so again a little bit math behind this that uh, doesn't equal two seconds exactly but that's okay we see that we now have the full amount of time that we expected to see in slow motion we can now see this in slow motion with the slow motion plugin uh, so the way I had it in the original tutorial was kinda janky a way to fix this this is a much crisper easier way to make sure that you're displaying back everything from the slow motion plugin so just a footnote if you want to see the whole tutorial again I got it linked if you want to know more about natural slow motion I got it linked like if this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more thanks for watching and I'll see you next time